So bag functions, or a better technical term for it, is aggregate functions. Um, basically, these functions take several values and return one value. If you can remember just that part about aggregate functions is that you're taking several values and returning one value. They're, they're rather straightforward. Notice here I have the uh, products from the products table in Northwind. And um, some of the bag functions we can use is, uh, hey, how many products are there? So select count star, basically 77 products. Um, notice the count function. If I, if I say select splat from products, again... Let's just run both of these queries. Notice that select splat from products returns several values or several rows. Whereas select count, count takes all those rows and simply counts them. That's a, essentially what's going on here. Uh, other ones, some more interesting ones would be, say we want to know the highest priced product that we have in the products table. I, I could say, give me the uh, max, give me the max unit price. Right, and run that, and looks like the most expensive product is uh, 263.50, and I'm sure we could scroll and probably find it. Maybe I just passed it. Yep, right there. This ooh, this is very expensive. I wonder what that is. Maybe we should order some. Okay, um, I could also find the cheapest product, min. Now think about it. Min here takes several values, and the values it's taking is each one of these unit prices. So 18, 19, 10, 20, 22. Okay, all that. It takes all those values and returns one, so $2.50. Um, let's see, we could also do, let's, let's find out if, if somebody ordered every single product, just one of every single product in, in our uh, products table, how much would that cost them? Looks like it would cost, uh, well, that's kind of a nice number there, 22, 22.71. Anyway, um, we could also find out, hey, what's the average, what's the average cost of our products here? Looks like it's about roughly 28, 29, and um, anyway, there, 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 there could be more of these functions, but mostly the ones we use more, most often, uh, the ones I rely on the most are count, sum. Well, we should. Oh, look at that! I used the wrong, wrong uh, commenting there. Sum, uh, average, and uh, max, and min. Now I went ahead and I made this test table here. Notice it has five in one row, null in the next, ten, null, and five. So, <clears throat> so it, uh, the point I want to show you here is, is if I say let's select the sum of the values. Well, sum only works on values that exist. So, so let's just run this in uh, in the column name. Yeah, because I called it the values. Sorry. So. Notice it summed the 5, the 10, and the 5, and got 20 here, but the nulls it ignored. And then something else, if we say count the values, well, count only only operates on the values that are not null as well. So even though there's five, technically five values here, count returns three. So that count the values, we only get three. If I want to actually count the number of elements or tuples or, or rows, as we call them, I say, say select count splat. Then notice that gives me the five back. Um, something else we want, could do, we can throw into these aggregate functions, is uh, say I want to count the distinct values. I could put back here, I could say the values, and then I can say distinct. Well, there's only two distinct values as far as count's concerned. There's the 5 and the 10, the nulls it ignores. So we execute that, and notice we have 2 down here. So, so you can, you can uh, pass other things besides splat up here in, in your count function. And also, if we want to go back, we could do it with sum. Remember when I sum the values, if I can spell it right, sum the values, we get 20. I could sum the distinct values. So that would mean I just get one five and one ten. Summing the distinct values gives us fifteen. So that's aggregate functions again, taking several values and returning one value.